everyone. I mean, wasn't you fantastic? Give it up for Lisa Ray. So my parents have three daughters. My older sister has a PhD in neuroscience. My younger sister is a medical doctor. And I am a lawyer with a master's in public policy. I was privileged to be brought up in an environment that empowered me to be anything I wanted to be. Right from a very young age, my parents respected my sisters and my inquisitiveness and the choices we made. But that is not the case for most girls in our society. My parents raised us very differently. We were stubborn, I mean, we still are. Uh, to survive in this male-dominated society, we also had to work hard and equip ourselves with the appropriate skills. Now, this was not just about passing exams in this artificially ordered environment of educational establishments. This was about survival skills in this disorderly jungle of real life. The world is undergoing a fundamental transformation in the way we work, live, and think. Now, we are part of, part of what is being termed as a fourth industrial revolution. A 2019 uh, study of employment trends has said that um, sectors that are dependent on highly skilled qualifications are least likely to be automated. Now, to give you a simple example, the automatic, um, uh, the widespread auto, uh, installation of automatic checkout at retail outlets has caused the loss of one in four cashier jobs, and most of these jobs belong to women. And the United Nations anticipates that women will lose five jobs to every one gained through tech, as opposed to men who will only lose two. So this, there is far-reaching implications for the role of women and girls in society and the role of women in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. So my sister Deepti and I co-founded Indian Girls Code. Indian Girls Code aims to transform the education by giving girls access to tech and coding skills and really inspiring girls to be whatever they want to be. So we started um, Indian Girls Code in Anay Ashram, which is an orphanage in Trichy. And uh, we also launched our company, Robotics, in 2010. So uh, Robotics was basically a company that was imparting STEM education across different schools. We panned across the entire South India, Chennai, Bangalore, Trichy, Coimbatore. Uh, and we were only one of two companies nationally. We realized one thing very, very quickly, but it was very clear that the ratio of boys to girls that would enroll in our STEM programs would be as, as less as 18 is to 1, if not worse. So we would have conversation with parents to, just to understand what was going on. And we would hear things like, oh, I don't want to put my daughter in anything that you know, needs boys' toys or tech toys, like Lego. I will just put them in a dance or an art class. So we did a few things. Um, we implemented in-school programs. So our programs would be part of in-school curriculum, thereby everyone gets access to the programs and not just a few. We launched Indian Girls Code and to extend our program to underprivileged girls who, under the pressure of poverty and tradition, may not even realize their own STEM skills. We set up Indian Mama's Code, um, and this was specifically for uh, women who have left the workforce, maternity leave, and who are looking to re-enter the workforce. We also set up AI World School. Um, this was obviously to stay ahead of the curve and impart AI education. So, as I mentioned before, Indian Girls Code was set up at, the first program was at Anna Ashram, an orphanage in Trichy. Now this orphanage has uh, girls from very, very disgruntled, very difficult backgrounds. Some, the parents were prisoners, victims of domestic abuse, and some were just abandoned at the orphanage. So we started our program with 50 girls, grade four and five, and we partnered with a school nearby. We set up a state-of-the-art robotics lab, and every Saturday throughout the academic year, these girls would go and we would you know, conduct our STEM programs. And we've been doing this for six years now. And every year we introduce a new batch of 50 girls. Now, we just didn't want to be um, you know, a, you know, one person who will enter, teach them a program, and exit. We want to be that cohort and community that really stays with these girls and really inspires these girls to do more on their journey. We really, our dream is to see these girls enter university, get excellent internships, really transform their lives and in turn, go back to that orphanage and be a source of inspiration to other girls. But throughout this journey, we had to stay ahead of the curve even more in terms of what and how we were teaching the kids. The global toy STEM markets were growing leap and, leaps and bounds. 
you know, we were getting fantastic tech toys right from the US, Europe, Japan. But there were two fundamental problems. Number one, the toys were very, very, very expensive. One tech toy would cost anywhere between 75,000 to 150,000. And this can only be used by two kids at a time and for very specific content, very narrow. Number two, the second problem was that everything was used proprietary software, so no open source. So we developed our own toys for the, both the global as well as the Indian STEM market. We launched Fyro, Taco Playbits, and Taco Robobricks. So just to give you an example of one of them, so Fyro is a coding toy for kids from ages four to 18. It teaches coding in five different ways, so two of which is without the screen, which is fantastic for kids as young as four and five. And the other three is using open source software, um, which a lot of kids are familiar with and are, you know, are getting more uh, hands-on with learning coding. Uh, it's also Lego compatible, so that adds a lot of more fun and endless opportunity for learning. Um, we also set up the AI World School. Uh, so through our AI curriculum, uh, we wanted to extend our programs to more girls as well as through our entire school network. Now, children, are, I mean, literally every child, and I'm sure everyone agrees here, that they're all born around AI-powered devices. I mean, this is inevitable. So my four-year-old uh, has launched the entire Janaganamana national anthem thanks to Google Home. And my seven-year-old has all, he has too many questions about the universe and space which that I don't know about. And, and thanks to Google, he now is writing a little book about it. It's definitely made my parenting journey easier. So, you know, through our entire AI program, we have... We have fantastic stories of what our, our own girls have done. Lila, a seven-year-old girl, learned about image recognition throughout her, through her summer camp and has now made an AI app that can recognize faces with or without a mask on. Sai Kripa loves learning about new places. She's created an AI app that can tell her the weather parameters and other parameters of any city on Earth just by saying the name of the city. Dia loves listening to music. And she used what she learned in her AI program to create an AI music player that uses emotion recognition, so it'll play music based on your mood. Lakshmi created an AI app for infants. So this is an uh, app that will just teach uh, little kids about animals and the sounds they make. So all the, it does is you say the name of the animal and it flashes an image of the animal and the sound that it makes. I mean, these kids are beyond fantastic in terms of what they are able to make. And if it's, at ages of seven to 10, you can just imagine what the future holds. So in a world transformed by technology, these children have the opportunity to create innovative solutions to make the world a better place. And we really hope to see more partners in our journey to transform societies and make our societies what our kids deserve. And if I can only ask one call to action today, if you have a daughter, a niece, a neighbor, a family friend, a relative, anyone, any young girl out there, change the dialogue that she is uh, exposed to. Whether it's the toys that we're giving them, whether it's the language, how we speak to them, let's all have, play a small role in inspiring more girls to, and really transforming their lives. Thank you.